Hey guys, what's up? So I wanted to do a quick video of the song of the day. Song of the day was, it takes two to make a thing go right. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh wow. So, however this is coming across, pretty much what's going on right now is I feel like you're in a relationship where it's only one-sided and you even might be getting gaslighted. It doesn't mean that this person does not love you. It just means that it takes two to make a thing go right. And whatever is going on right now with them, it could be a couple things. It could be, it could be codependency. It could be addiction. It could be um, family crisis. It could be health problems. It could be um, forgiving uh, something that happened between you guys and that it's still hard for them to forgive. Um, if they were in a relationship like recently, it could have to do with something with still healing. It could just have something to do with healing in general, but whatever it is, stop trying. The more you try, the worse it gets. The more you try, the more you hurt. The more you try, the more you resist anything from even happening whatsoever. So stop chasing. Stop talking. Stop trying to do anything. Stop trying to make something happen because it takes two to make a thing go right. And if it's only one person, it's not going right. It needs two people. You need two people to tango, right? You need two people to make a baby. You need, well, you need two people to have a relationship. So it's like, it's not worth it right now. Just right now. It doesn't mean it's never going to happen. It just means right now. Plus, when I was doing um, cards earlier for myself, um, and I'm in the same situation, that's why I'm saying, dude, like, just don't, don't even bother. Because it's like, it's either going to happen or it's not. So right now, I'm not going to say believe it's not, but if it's not happening, look at it for what it is, accept it and start living your best life and don't hold on to that person because you could be holding on forever and the more you hold on and the more you don't let go the worse it could be for you so he's mad i'm doing a video so pretty much yeah then i had the um card unrequited love pretty much you're not getting love. You deserve to be loved. You're lovable. So it's like, don't take that. It's like, people will literally be treated like shit because that's how they feel like they're supposed to be treated, you know? And from childhood and from our parents and from society and other, in our in school and bullies and friends and, you know, relationships that we've had before, like, the more we let people take advantage of us and the more we let people treat us like shit, the more we think we accept it for being okay because it's like, it's, it, it, what is it, like, your past doesn't reflect your future, or, like, it doesn't, pretty much, like, we think that things can't be better because we only have experienced bad, you know what I mean? So, it's, like, if I tell you, hey, you can fly tomorrow, and dead ass like you can, you'd be, like, nope, I can't, never have before. It doesn't matter if you never have before. If I'm literally telling you that you can, and it's true, you have to believe it. So you have to not tell yourself that you can't have something because you've never had it before because that doesn't matter. You're a different person. You can be in a different relationship than you were five minutes ago. Listen to that again. You can be in a relationship, a different relationship than you were five minutes ago. You can not be in a relationship that you were in five, the same relationship that you were in five seconds ago. Did I say that right? I don't know. Pretty much I'm trying to say, like, you don't have to be in any kind of relationship five minutes ago or whatever. Like, you could be out of that relationship five minutes ago. And you could be in another one or you could just not. But I would recommend not. Um, anyways, I would recommend. Doesn't mean that if you are, it's not going to work out or anything like that. It just, I would recommend because once you get out of one relationship, I feel like there's things that need to be healed especially if there's um unforgiveness because that's just gonna bleed through your next relationships over and over and over again until they're healed but anyways you can't let people take advantage of you and you can't keep trying and trying and trying and not have anybody trying back so it's like you you gotta like really look at things for what they are and not what you want them to be or not what you want them to look like like 
You need to stop making excuses for the person. You know what I mean? Like, if they're not talking to you, there's a reason. Like, they might not even be interested. Like, they might not even, they might be lying about everything that they say. Like, maybe they're with somebody else and you don't even know. Maybe they could just be using you. Maybe they're just taking advantage of you. Maybe you guys are just on a break and everything's going to be okay. But right now, they're just not talking because they need their space. You never know. I don't know your situation. The only thing that I know is that the song was It Takes Two to Make a Thing Go Right. And if things aren't going right right now, and it's because only one person is trying and you're being gaslighted by the other person, leave it alone. It will feel so much better. Be patient, okay? And have gratitude for the time that you have right now and spend it wisely, okay? Be patient with yourself more than anything else. All right. Bye, guys. Mwah. Oh, the other song after that was Poison. You know, Poison. Uh, that girl's... That girl is poison. So it also could be because you're intimidating and that, you know, it's kind of like that. You're so too... You're so too beautiful, girl. Whatever. That you're so beautiful, girl. That's why it will never work. That one. Like, you, they're too intimidated by you. Um... They might be putting you on a pedestal right now and you don't even know it. Um, they could be thinking that you're too good for them and that they don't want to screw it up. So they're just not going to. Like, you never know when a, a person is not talking. Like, you never know. You never know. It could be for a good reason and you would never know because they're not talking and they're not telling you. So it could be something like that too. Like, you're so addicting. Like, you're poison. Like, in a good way for you. Maybe not for them, but it's. It's like saying, like, you know, or it could be because you're not good for them. And so they're just not talking to you anymore, you know. But if that's the case, that also means move on. Like, if they're done, be done. Accept it. Accept it for what it is. Okay? Accept it. Is this... Yeah, you have to balance your relationships. Okay. That's all. There were so many other songs that we're just going to leave it at that because it doesn't make sense. And see, like, I can go by these and be like, oh, they make sense because whoever sees it is the one that's going to matter for it. You know what I mean? And, it, and it, it's happening to what happens to you guys is happening to me, too. That's why I have the same energy as you, you know, so I can sit here and be like, oh, like, yeah, this makes sense because I know what it's going. I know what I know. And that's like my karma, not my karma. That's one of my purposes in life is to understand people's feelings. So I think that's the reason why most of the time when I do readings or I do energy updates or something like that, I know exactly what you're going through because I am too. So I can explain it better than somebody else can. But yeah, if there's any kind of readings that people want, just let me know. Okay. All right. Have a good one, guys. Good night. Oh, my Barry Baker. He's the one that actually helps me with relationship stuff. He passed over. I mean, you know, but he's still he's with me 24-7 and I love it. <laughs> I love my Barry, but I would probably be with, if Barry did not die, he would probably be like who I was with, like at the end of the day, but he's not here. So he was my protector. Yeah. I love him. I always will. I, I yeah, I know. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.